Hi everyone, Kyle Demas here from Open Alex. I'm here to answer the question today, how can we estimate APC charges for our institution? We get this question a lot and I wanted to make sure to point out first that we have some great documentation online already for that. So I'll show that documentation and then show you how to do it. If you haven't done this before, go to help.openalex.org. This is where we're building a bit of a knowledge base for Open Alex to answer questions like this and provide additional references. So I'm just gonna type in APC and hit enter. And you'll see there's two different um, knowledge base entries that pop up. The first is a how-to. Um, so I'll go ahead and open that in another window. And then the, the other is a reference on open access. So if I go to the how-to, it shows you how to estimate your institution's APC fees. Um, and, and the general workflow is, is quite simple. Use the corresponding institution filter to select your institution, add filter type articles or reviews, um, to restrict analyses to only where APC prices apply, add filter of primary source as a journal to restrict your analysis to journal, and then use the sum APC uh, button to add to the stats. And as an example here, if you just click this, it's going to do that. But I do, before I click on that, want to point out quickly that there is a lot of assumptions that go into this, and there's a lot of challenges with working with APC data. We've tried to document these here, and that's that second um, knowledge base entry. So if you scroll down on APC charges, it walks through some of the assumptions in making these estimates and whether or not each step along the way will overestimate or underestimate, um, underestimate APC fees so that you can make an informed decision on your own. But I'm going to go back and, and click that example. And you'll see here it's populating corresponding institution as Simon Fraser University, work type is article or review, and source type is journal. And the APC, there's two different values over here on the right. Um, the first is the sum of APC paid estimate, and the other is APC list price. Not everything that um, that has that is APCable does become um, APC paid, so that's why those are different. But it also allows you to, for instance, say of all of the works at my institution that are closed, what might it cost to make them available through a through current APC charges? And that's how you would use the APC list. But that's all you have to do for now. If you want to change your institution, it's quite simple. Um, I'm just going to close out of that and type in corresponding institution. And the reason corresponding institution is used here is because this is typically where the transformative agreements are going to. Um, you can, for instance, use just institution, but that will probably be a very large overestimate. Corresponding institution right now is, is probably the best thing that we have available. Um, and if I were to click on University of Washington, you can see it's now providing that estimate. I hope that's helpful. Keep the questions coming and have a great day.